Hey there everyone, hope you're doing well. For today, I only planned a shorter video, but I feel it needs to be done as I get massive amounts of questions considering how to disable the auto battle system, the auto navigation, and how to use the AI mode. So it's better to talk about it quickly and make sure you can all enjoy the game properly without any headaches. To avoid any confusions, let's clarify what these mean first. Auto battle is the system that allows your character to fight by itself. Use auto attacks, abilities and familiars on cooldown without requiring any input from the player, allowing you to farm, grind or just play the game with minimal input. Auto navigation on the other hand is the system that allows you to complete quests or find objects, monsters on the map automatically, making your character follow a path to a destination without any guidance. And finally, AI mode is the built-in farming mode for Nino Kuni. As you unlock this mode after level 20 or so, it will allow you to turn off your game and your device anywhere while leaving your account and character online with the auto battle feature enabled and continue farming until you log back in. So let's talk about auto battle first. I personally adore this system because for whatever weird reason it's really fun and they managed to create an entertaining auto battling system. I played MMORPGs for years and I always stumbled into the mindset that I was so focused on my rotation or the buttons on the screen not to mess up that after 15 years of doing so I just really enjoy the ability to focus on just the battle and the boss fights. Possibly what makes this entertaining is that while your abilities are being used automatically, you still have to manually dodge and position yourself to stay alive. With that said, there is definitely content where auto mode is not recommended and manual play will be required to perform really well. Additionally, I also heard a lot of people struggle disabling it when you would just really like to play the game yourself, so that's understandable. Overall, they made it quite tricky for whatever reason to disable it, but I'll guide you through step by step how to do it. First of all, the auto battle system has three modes, full automatic mode, semi-automatic mode, and manual mode. Full automatic mode will do its best to play according to all the auto battle options you have enabled and it can be really well optimized and set up. Semi-automatic mode on the other hand will only use auto attacks by itself and lets you control your abilities. This is a nice in-between mode if you don't want to press auto attack button constantly. And manual mode is going to be the fully manual mode after I help you set it up. Sadly, by default, it still functions almost like automatic. So, how to set it up properly? The first and most important setting to change is the game options menu. If you scroll down to the battle options, you will see a setting called counter when auto battle is off. This will be on by default and if you want to have the option to play manually, you need to turn this off. Otherwise, every time you are attacked, auto battle will turn on no matter what settings you have enabled. Like this is really silly, I don't know why this is on by default, because it technically makes it confusing and just really bad for people who want to try manual mode. Either way, once this is off, manual mode will actually stay manual and you can play by yourself. So setting up manual is pretty easy, but there are additional ways of customizing auto battle which I recommend checking out. If you hold down the mouse button or your finger on the auto button on the bottom of the screen, you will open a small utility window that helps you customize it. The auto battle distance will determine how far your character moves to find enemies to fight. This helps you choose your farming spot. And depending on your character, you might also have an option called skill movement restriction. This is a super handy option as what it does is it disables the movement of your skills that are potentially dodges or gap closers and instead your character will stay rooted in one place. Super handy for when you just want to grind without moving around with your character. Auto battle counter outside range as far as I know is just a safety option in case a high range enemy attacks you in battle and lets you defend yourself. The most important option on this screen on the other hand is the auto skill and familiar auto use settings. If you click this button it will enable a skill customization screen where you can click your familiars and abilities that you want your auto battle mode to use or disable some of them that you'd like to use manually. This way you can 100% customize auto battle mode even for PvP so that certain abilities will be used as soon as possible that require no thinking while leaving your more demanding abilities for manual control. This way you can fully customize the way you'd like to play. So fiddle with it a bit and find the right balance of manual and auto that you would prefer. Next is auto navigation. This feature is a lot more simpler than auto battle and can be incredibly useful in various different content. The way auto navigation works is that once it's enabled, your character will move to the target by itself and even complete the quest if you left it unchecked. With quests, it works really simple. 
if you click any of the quests on the left side of the screen, there will be a sparkling animation on them indicating that auto navigation is enabled. Clicking on the quest again will disable this feature and that's pretty much it. Hopefully now you can decide which quests you'd like to do manually or automatically. But auto navigation has its other uses too, which is really nice feature for farming or grinding that I mentioned in yesterday's video. By inspecting anything in the game, you have options to look up where items are acquired from, or where monsters are on the map, or where the pod genie or, for example, the muse the traveling merchant is. Either through your codex or inventory, or even clicking on a mini-map and selecting a target, you will get a move option that lets you enable auto-navigation and lead you to a monster or an NPC you've never been to and show you the way. This is not only amazing to find monsters you'd like to grind, but it's also great to learn locations and find different features that are hidden around the map. So I recommend using this as much as you can. And finally, we have the AI mode. AI mode is a feature that can be accessed by pressing escape or going to the options menu and click on the unplugged cord button at the bottom of the screen. AI mode is basically an enhanced auto battle mode that lets you quit the game completely on your PC or your phone, even shut it down, while leaving your account and character online in the game world and continue grinding at the spot with auto battle mode turned on. This is basically a device and power saving mode that lets us just continue progressing in the game while sleeping or having to shut the game down without having to leave your devices on. The catch is that by default you're only allowed to use 4 hours of AI mode. After that your character will log off. But if you purchase the daily adventure pack, one of the rewards is 6 additional hours of AI mode. So you can use it every day to a total of 10 hours. So this pack is a really good one if you can afford it and lets you farm a little bit more while sleeping. As far as my tests go, the AI mode is a fully efficient mode with no difference between just using your auto battle and leaving the game here, but at least you can shut down the game. So it's a really amazing feature to use before going to sleep. You can even create a party with friends for the party bonuses and benefits and farm items or gold with everyone using the AI mode. It works with potions, buffs, anything that affects your normal gameplay can be also used for the AI mode. There is one mistake you can do as far as I've heard from some players and that is not setting up your auto mode properly. The AI mode is essentially just your auto battle mode left there for 4 hours without needing your client to stay connected. But if your auto battle mode is set up incorrectly or you disable certain abilities from automatic usage, your AI mode will use those settings too. This means you have to make sure that your auto battle mode is set to 100% and all your skills and familiars are enabled to be automatic or else your AI mode will not use them and it won't be efficient. Before we finish the video, I'd also like to introduce the battery saving mode that surprised even me that I love using it. Even on the PC client, you can click the battery icon instead of the cord for the AI mode and the game will turn into battery saving mode. In this mode, the game will run on absolutely minimal resources and continue auto battle mode for you in a given grinding location, but lets you do other things like watching a movie or playing different games at the same time. Of course, you could just leave the game on, especially if you have a powerful PC, since the game is really well optimized, so why is this mode so good? The reason I started loving battery saving mode is that it enables an AFK screen similarly like AI mode, and when you wake up from this battery saving function, a progression window pops up immediately that summarizes your loot, gold and experience gained while you were gone. This essentially lets you know what happened while you were AFK or doing something else, and you don't have to wonder if you got anything valuable or look for them manually. So I recommend not ignoring this as I think this is really handy, especially if you leave your device during the day for whatever reason. But that is all for our auto battle and AI mode video for today everyone. I really wanted to do this video as I've been seeing a ridiculous amount of people having trouble setting this up properly, which I totally understand since for some reason they made it really obscure and confusing, especially the manual mode option that you have to change before making it work. With that said, I hope now you will be able to enjoy Nino Kuni properly with the settings that you prefer and fiddle with it until it's perfect. I keep saying this, but I think the auto battle feature in this game is amazing. I said a lot of people will be surprised how fun it is despite the heavy rioting against it before launch, and I'm really happy to see a lot of players coming forward admitting that it's a lot more fun and engaging than they thought it would be and it's quite an entertaining system. I hope you all don't mind these basic tutorials, I do feel they are needed considering the heavy requests for them, but I'll keep the advanced tips and hints coming too. Thank you for the support everyone every day as always, and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.